a minimum of quarterly or something right. so that it's not just as needed for the next budget so, amendment. So, you know, so to do something with the information. I don't even know where you are and what you're asking for. This At number eight, he's just asking that the but information be uh, brought to the city county liaison and that body. Is it the one did not that originate with us. Right. So I don't want anything to hold it up. Well, the city has the city approved this, uh, Tracy? Mm -hmm. you know, yes. 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 Oh, what, what? yes. So the city's yes. approved. So you all, have, if you come on up, so I can. I can't see anything but the top of that. Book. This is the uh, deputy city right. city manager, yes. Jay Reinstein. Actually, the assistant city manager. Thanks for the promotion. <laughs> <laughs> I do appreciate it. That's all right. It's all right. Thank congratulations. You. <laughs> so you all have already can buy for this. That's correct. And, and you can see that the discussion is that this information be brought somewhere, no which is the. That's uh, my so I think this agreement. Uh, and I'm not going to put you on the spot because you don't speak for the city council. You don't speak for the city Thank manager. You. And Victor but, Sharp would be the one that and Victor I would. Sharp. Okay. Yeah. But to be able to take it back to them that our concern is that this information is brought forth to and to the city county liaison or a port. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I will handle that. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. So, okay. All those in favor? I support. Unanimous. I won't go to mention you repeat that. That was very good. We go in there. That's good. Thank you. Uh, consideration of the Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recovery Grant Award. We're going to ask Mr. Jackson to give us some background information about this item. Thank you. Before I start, I, I need to recognize some folks that are here in the audience tonight um, that have joined us uh, specifically for this uh, agenda item. Uh, of course, we have uh, Sylvia McLean, who's a CDBG DR consultant with our Community Development agency also d taylor she or, just couldn't uh, leave us up no we, we wouldn't let her go <laughs> um Welcome back. our interim director d taylor um jay reinstein uh assistant city manager and also uh mr rick benton with the uh, governor's disaster recovery office he's our, our regional liaison and we think think all these folks are being here tonight um, I'll start by saying that the state of North Carolina has sent a CDBG DR grant award letter to Cumberland County for its consideration. This award letter is for a two-year period, an initial award amount of $23,260,000. Additional funding up to $34,945,328 may be available after these funds are exhausted. This is for affordable housing related projects and activities mm -hmm. as defined in the state's CDBG DR action plan and aimed at assisting those with low to moderate incomes that suffered uh, disastrous impacts from Hurricane Matthew. The county is eligible for this non-competitive grant as one of four counties most impacted by Hurricane Matthew. As a lead entity for administering this local grant, Cumberland County will be responsible for developing, implementing, and monitoring projects associated with the grant. This will be done in combination with a CDG, CDBGD, CD, BG, DR, <laughs> consultant. Getting ahead of myself. Cumberland County Finance and the combined efforts of both county and city community development departments. This is the first of many steps towards establishing the framework for administering this grant. And it is hoped that a consultant can be selected to assist the county in this effort sometime in November. Bless you, bless you. Staff is requesting approval of budget ordinance amendment B180280 in the amount of $23,260,000 and to authorize the chairman to the board or the county manager to sign the award letter and forthcoming grant agreement as appropriate. Um, at this point, I'm glad to try to answer any questions you may have concerning this Commissioner item. Commissioner Council. All right, I had uh, one question. This is to be submitted the date. We asked for an extension, and we got a one-day extension, so we actually have until tomorrow. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> Commissioner Fair. Keefe. Okay. Um, real, real, real quick, uh, on these, and um, I'm, I'm in support, support of this, obviously, but uh, this money, because, because uh, communities change, but we understand they all have to be with community development block grant in, in that realm. Um, we do have some flexibility maybe in the second year as long as it stays within community development. We're not locked down into these specific uh, categories on this, are we? 
there are, let me phrase it like this, there are specific categories the money has to be spent in, but as we go into this and we start more clearly defining the projects, if we find that more money is needed in, in one area than another, my understanding in discussions with the state is that they will look at that. If there is some flexibility that can be allowed, they will allow it and they will work with us. And, and that's my point. We may yeah. find out as we're going along that in one category that we may have enough multifamily housing or not right. enough and we can, there is some play in, in this funding. Yes, that's my understanding. All right, thank you very much. Commissioner Booth. Uh, just, just a quick couple questions. Uh, the two year time slot, is that truly a one time shot or are we anticipating this to be recurring in some way, shape or form? So it's two years really for budget purposes and then um, for them to see if the communities can implement as they have uh, proposed. And then from there, they'll come back at the end of the two year period, see what monies are left, see what progress has been made, and then reallocate as necessary. Okay, so they're gonna be getting so two, years be data, two years of data, two years of data to see if it's, if what we've identified is a need we're, we're, we're fulfilling it with. Yes. Okay, now, do, are we gonna do this with existing personnel or are there additional personnel coming on for either part-time or full-time employment with the county? So this would be a combination. This would be using existing staff, but we'd also be using a percentage of grant funds to bring on a consultant that would really backfill and provide the depth in terms of all the different um, needs in the administration and delivery of this grant. Okay, and so the, the kind of the overseer or the, the is gonna be the only new additional staff hire as, as far as you see right now? We're not planning, if you're asking if we're planning to hire additional county staff, no sir, no, no more county staff than we already have. Okay. And we will just be using the grant funds to help pay for the consultant. And, and all it's laid out on staff. the table that when not homeless Jimmy, but applicant Jimmy applies for the job, <laughs> he's there for the two year, the one year slash two year term to, to be there to guide it, work it, and then justify his continued existence uh, with the data that he's collected in the proof in the pudding. So that would be the consultant's employee. Right, so consultant, that that's what I'm saying. Jimmy the could, could be somebody that they hire. Yeah, consultant right. Jimmy. If, yes. Okay. <laughs> Commissioner Council. Uh, time is of the essence here, and I move that we approve. I, don't, I can't, can't find the correct language. But we approve. Oh, here it is. Community Development Grant B18. We approve Budget Ordinance Amendment Number B180 HB 20280 in the amount of $23,260,000 to recognize CDBG DR grant award funds and authorize the Chairman of the Board of Commissioners and or county manager to assign the award letter and go on and get the money. <laughs> um, I'll second that if we can just pick one or the other. I don't think it ought to be an either or. It, it shouldn't be an either or checking account. Either the chair signs everything or they both do or just she does. But I, I don't think it ought to be that if Glenn signs one document three months later, Amy can sign one and Glenn never knows what came back after his first signature. So I think it's either and or either but not well that that's why we added a, as appropriate in there but we defer to i mean really um i'm having the, no problem with the award being letter the has to be signed by the chairman that's okay. the way it's written now can the uh can the manager do any forthcoming grant agreement or do we have to bring it back to this body that's just what we're trying to keep this moving in terms of the process and, and not hold things up so as long as one or the other can sign that's that's all that matters. I don't know if you if you are comfortable <laughs> with that. The only one will sign. But I, I don't mind only one signing it, but not either one. So if it's always the chairman or always the manager, I'm I'm more happy with that than.